The updates to Minecraft 1.20 are already rolling out, but there have been a few updates, a few features, a few things that have been kept secret from us. Not not really all that all that secret if you read the the change log, but there's a lot of stuff that people aren't talking about. Why? Is it because it will change the game forever? You decide. I am currently in Snapshot 22W44A and in this snapshot if I look for petrify what the p p what where is it don't know what i'm looking for well here i am in 1.19.2 and i search for pet <gasps> there it is petrified oak slab this has been removed from minecraft 1.20 once again pet i don't even need to type anything else petrified is gone moss carpet is over here why is that there? Is that because it's carpet? Mar mar uh, carpet? I guess. I guess that makes sense. In an update where they're adding so much stuff to the creative inventory, including things that we've been needing to use commands for for years, they have now taken something out of the creative inventory and hidden it behind a command. You can still get the petrified oak slab with the give command. But what sets this slab apart from a normal oak slab? They look exactly the same. They sound exactly the same, but do they burn the same? No, no they no they don't. That's the that's actually the difference. A normal oak slab will actually burn to death. And a petrified oak slab will not. I'm going to put that out because it doesn't matter. On the left, I have petrified oak slab. If I pick the block, you can see. On the right, I have oak slab. And we are going to subject these slabs to ladder. No, not ladder. Uh, lava. Ha ha ha. Did this? I didn't do that right. There we go. Okay, now there we go. Full of lava. My fire tick was off. So nothing was burning. <laughs> That's why nothing was burning. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, as you can see, I guess my random tick speed is really high too, because this is just consuming that thing super duper fast. Uh, the normal uh, wood is burning away uber duper fast, and petrified is staying the same. You'll also notice some crazy stuff when it comes to how petrified is uh, mined. And I mean that actually, it's it's mined up instead of using a axe on it like you would any other wood type. You use picks on petrified oak slabs. Why does this thing even exist? I'll tell you, and just to show you, you know, you don't mine up normal oak. You use an ax on normal oak, but you can't use an ax on petrified. You use a pick on petrified. What the heck is this stuff? Petrified oak slabs harken back to a very, very old version of Minecraft. It used to be that the oak slab was actually just a reskinned version of the stone slab, now called the smooth stone slab. And that meant that anything that was made into a slab variation was basically made out of stone. It had the blast resistance of stone. It would not burn like stone. And you know, later on, I guess it couldn't be used in a furnace and stuff. That wasn't a thing at the time. People had used these crazy wooden slabs in their builds over lava and in places that could catch fire. And so when the developers decided to change the block to really work like wood should, they decided anything that was the old skinned version of a stone slab would become a petrified oak slab and everything new in the future would become the normal oak slab. I guess in Minecraft 1.20, all of that old history is kaput. It's out of here. And so now, if you want this, you actually have to go into the commands to get it. It's removed from the creative inventory, so it's a lot more difficult to find. Moving on, we're gonna stick with the wood theme and talk a little bit more about these wooden blocks and specifically about their sounds. In Minecraft 1.20, you'll now find three different wooden sounds. So you got your normal wood, and I can kind of walk on it right here to give you an idea of what it sounds like. And you also have your bamboo wood now, which sounds 
completely different as you walk on it. And you also have the warped wood. I guess I, I was going to say warped wood, but I guess this is fungus, technically. Warped planks, crimson planks, that sort of thing. This is the stuff you find in the nether. And it has a completely different sound. It's true for when you break them, when you place them. And so you can see the break, place, or, and place. They all have very different sounds now. So you can expect that, uh, you know, if we get a wood type that's more like a normal wood, it'll sound like that. And then if you get a more bamboo or you get something else in the nether, highly doubt that's gonna happen, then the sounds will accommodate which type of wood type you are using. Sort of like wood, but not. It is the chiseled bookshelf. This is such a popular block. People love this thing. They love to talk about it and they want to know more about it. And I have a few crazy things that have been like, I didn't, I, no one's talking about it. Why is no one talking about this stuff? So, first off is that the, uh, I guess this isn't that big of a deal, but the thing that you use to break this is uh, the axe. Uh, so that, I mean, I'm in creative, so, you know, but you use the axe to break this. But I am in survival right now, and where the heck are these blocks going? Why do they not exist anymore? If you put one down, you use an axe to break it, it's gone! It does not break a block version of itself, and that is intended. I need to get some more of these things, because I, I broke I broke them all. I'm gonna go back and create them. I'm gonna grab 64 of them. Oops, I didn't put them there. There we go. Now, if these things are put down, you break them with an ax. Remember, I am still in survival mode, and they disappear. What happens to the books that you add inside when you break the bookshelf? Well, they pop out. And I guess all of this is reminiscent of how normal bookshelves work. Because when you put down a normal bookshelf and break it with an ax, I guess it doesn't break the block, you know? It drops the books that are in the bookshelf. Uh, each bookshelf takes three books to make, and so it doesn't drop the actual bookshelf block, it drops the books that were used in the crafting recipe in order to make the bookshelf. So that is very similar with the chiseled bookshelf is that it will not drop the actual shelf. It will instead break the shelf and dropping the books on the ground. Now you can get around all of this if you have silk touch on your tool. Same thing with a normal bookshelf, the one we've had in Minecraft for years, that will now drop itself. And same thing with the chiseled bookshelf, it will now drop itself. And even if you have this full of books, it will now drop not only the shelf, but the books as well. Now, here is a crazy little detail that I did not know about. If you take the books that you put into the bookshelf and keep an eye on how you added them to the bookshelf, right? So I'm gonna add this one enchanted book. I only have one enchanted book. All the rest of my books are normal, plain old books. So we're gonna take this one enchanted book, put it in, and then we're gonna fill the rest of the bookshelf up with the normal books, right? So if you really think about it, normal, 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 and then that teal or cyan book is my enchanted book. When you start to take them out, they come out of the bookshelf in the same way that you put them in. That makes sense. The first book I put in was the enchanted book. Maybe I put in it as the second book, and then I fill the rest up with normal books. As I get around to that second book, when I pull it out, it is the enchanted book. But there is a way to change this order, which is like mind blowing to me. If we use a hopper instead of the player, then that hopper will actually pull the books out in the wrong order. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna put five books in here. These are normal books. And the last one will be the enchanted book. So the first one I pull out should be the enchanted book. I can do that over and over and over again. Using this hopper, it's currently locked because of this lever. I will remove one book. Well, I removed two books <laughs> from this uh, the bookshelf. And you would think that the two books that it pulled out, one of them would be the enchanted book. But if we look, 
It's a normal book. There's still uh, a book inside of the hopper here. So it's actually pulling the books from the first slot and then doing that over and over and over again. Let's see if I can... Uh, there we go. Okay, so there's only one book in there. That's a normal book all full of normal books The one book left is the enchanted book And so then if I just let this run all the way it finally gets the enchanted book This is absolutely crazy to me because if you were trying to build some type of redstone situation Where you are using hoppers to move books around that is completely unintuitive to me that the First book you put in as a player, which would be the last book you pull out, is actually going to be the first book you pull out if you're using a hopper. Minecraft has had the option to change what language you use. Some of my favorites are English pirate speak. Absolutely love that. Or upside down English. But they have added two new languages. How do I make sure that I don't accidentally choose that? Uh, which is Nawadl and Russin. In previous versions of Minecraft, if you were on fire, you jumped in a boat and then tried to <laughs> get into a water stream, that would actually not put you out. And I jumped out because I was about to die. Let's try that one more time, and this time with some golden apples. So I am literally on fire. I jump into a boat and I think. Oh, this, uh, this, this water stream, that'll put me out. Well, it wasn't until I started drowning that, uh, I was actually put out. Over here, though, in the best version of Minecraft, the newest version of Minecraft, if I go into this water stream, I will be put out. That's been new. That's updated. Now, this is one of the strangest things that I can't believe didn't work before. We are currently in Minecraft 1.19, and I have in front of me a monster spawner. And if I use my lovely, I adore this. This is the best feature in Minecraft, the pick block key. If I did that on sand, I get sand in my hand. If I do that on grass, tall grass, like actual grass, not the grass block, I get grass in my hand. If I do that on a spawner, I get nothing. The spawner is literally even in my inventory. It's sitting right there. I'll remove it. It will not pick up a spawner. I cannot pick a spot. I can pick up a pig. I can pick up a grass block, a acacia log. Spawner, no can do. I absolutely love the fact that if I'm over here in the newest snapshots for 1.20, I can pick sand, I, I can pick leaves, and I can pick spawners. And finally, an update that I'm kind of sad about is that turtles used to be able to like immediately breed which I did actually myself. I would just like click them all day and just spam the breeding mechanic just to get them to put down like so many, oh look, they're gonna drown in there. Uh, just to put down like so many eggs. Uh, now that has been unfortunately nerfed. They have removed that immediate breeding from the game. And now you have to wait the normal five minutes to make these turtles love each other. I just wanted to bring more love to the world. Minecraft developers, why you gotta cramp my style? I just want eggs and eggs for days. Uh, well, now it's actually the correct way, so you can't do that anymore. And that is some of the secret features in Minecraft 1.20, things that people just aren't talking enough about. So what am I doing? I'm talking about them more so that you know all about them. So please make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment down below so that you can help me out and get these Minecraft updates to the masses. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like I said, like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys in the next one. Bye!